Walk around this baby. You gotta say that the coolest thing is Paige's drinking stepdad edition. Ouch. So he went crazy on this car. Exhaust pretty close to. It's airbagged. <laughs> the ultimate sleeper. So this is a what year? That's a 74. A 74, 74 Ford LTD. Ford Broham LTD. Broham edition. Broham. And that's because the Brohams had the leather tops, right? They had the more luxury, luxury. amenities, mm -hmm. like a cigarette lighter. I don't know. <laughs> Ashtray, it had, it, it, ashtray in the doors. It had yeah, four yeah. cigarette lighters instead of five? Yeah. Or it had exactly. five instead of four? five, yeah. Just in case you have five people and you have an argument over, <laughs> you know, cigarette lighters. And this has a, the big, big block, right? Yeah, 460 with uh, 429 heads. So you, when you do get it, you haven't had it dyno but you assume it will dyno ish what? Um, the motor dyno at 650, so I'm guessing... I'm gonna say 500 to the wheel. Okay. So, and with this thing, I mean, it, it still grows some. When you get on it, you can stab it. It'll 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 light up the tires. Yeah, I would. Assume, I mean, it's not tires. a light. It's not a light car, obviously, no. but I mean, it still moves. I would assume. It does. It does, and it scoots. It really does. It yeah. Gets to a point where you're kind of questioning yourself. <laughs> You're not wondering if the car can handle it. You're wondering if you can handle it. You're wondering if it's going to stop? Well, no, it'll stop. <laughs> it's just such a long, heavy car. And you take the wrong bump, you're, you're, you're in danger. <laughs> but that's not why I built it. It's a cruiser. <laughs> so the is what's your favorite thing about this car except for the emblem? The emblem's probably my favorite part. I think, um, I don't know, I think my favorite part is that it was an original one owner family car. The grandfather handed it down to the grandson and he drove it to the ground and never touched it. So after obviously taking it apart and you know checking everything out, like the wiring is still original, the paint, the interior, everything, it's never been touched. It just basically ran until it died. And then I found it on the side of the road and it was covered in you know stuff and nobody paid attention to it. It looked like it was about to get towed because the tag the tags were expired. And uh, I just said, you know what, I'm just gonna take a chance. I left a note and sure enough the guy called me back and uh, he was asking the world for it. I was like, I had to kind of wake him up to what was going on here. Yeah. So we went from fifty-five hundred dollars to a thousand dollars. That's quick. awesome. So <laughs> That's cool. Come all the way down there with my truck and trailer and take it out of there. And here we are. That's cool. 
And then so it's back. Are these the original? Yeah, these are the original hubcaps. The original it's hubcaps. Okay. Tires. That's it. I tried to really preserve everything that was there. That essence, essence right? Yeah. Yeah, I, I really like the interior and the day. I really like how you did a really nice job hiding the auxiliary gauges. They kind of look like if you walk by, they're supposed to be yeah, there. Yeah, exactly. Those weren't there. Those three the, are ones you put there, right? Yeah. Yeah. It was just an empty area on the panel there. And, yeah. Uh, a friend of mine, Corey, said, this is a good idea. This is a good place for them. So I went with it. I was going to do the whole drop down, you know. Yeah, like the cluster. folding thing. Yeah, yeah. but... But those look like they're cooler. supposed to, like, I mean, you could walk by and not even notice. The, yeah, those. I think they just look cooler. Like lunch money, Corey? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah like, they kind of blend in with the other gauges, honestly. Yeah, yeah. and it kind of works. Those look cool. Yeah. Because of the chrome, works. they kind of blend in with the cigarette lighter, honestly. Right, yeah, exactly. Yeah, they and look they're cool. they're, like, the right size. They are, yeah. I had to kind of modify the back of them because they had, they're such a big cone. So you mm -hmm. have to cut the housing and then just slip the gauge into the hole. That's it. Yeah. And the rest of the interior looks like it's in pretty good shape. Because I know you said... tears. I just steam cleaned the uh, yeah. material. And I'm going to get a new carpet kit, like I said. And uh, I have a pretty clean, brand new, in-the-box 8-track player. Ooh. So I'm going to keep that kind of period correct. That's clutch. That yeah. What does it have now? Just a just, just a radio. Got the AM FM radio. AM FM. Because you said seventy four. Seventy four. So uh, actual A track would have been an option probably for this. Uh, I don't know. It could be an aftermarket thing. Sure. Huh. And the most important thing is the drinking stepdad edition. Yeah, you know, I figured like uh, that's, the world, that's clutch. The, the car industry needs a new genre of cars. So, you know, you got the resto mod guys, you got the low rider guys, you got the period correct guys, you got you know, all these genres. So I yeah. figured, you know, I should introduce a new genre to the car community. I agree yeah. with you. Yeah. Bringing in the drinking stepdad edition. Where, yeah. You know, he's got the cigarette in his hand. He gives you the arm seat belt, or yeah. you know. Could be anything, you know. Uh -huh. Stuff like that. Yeah. And you know, he could he could do you know he could do that, but he also has you know the car that looks a little unsuspecting, but he's also got yeah. the big block, and he could probably yeah. you know beat the yeah. shit out of the, the newer cars. So basically, don't mess with this. Guy. <laughs> <laughs> he's got a couple screws loose, but yeah. he also gets some work done during the week. Yeah, and he will punch you in the face. If he has to. <laughs> But he also is holding down a job and paying some bills, you know what yeah, I mean? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> nice gentleman, but, you know, I get it. <laughs> See, I, think, I feel like he might have been here also. Yeah, there were signs of him <laughs> drinking a couple pints, maybe. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> I was going to cut and buff the paint, but I decided that it needs to stay in its, like... Because the front, like you were saying, I, I think yeah, I, I, mean, I saw you say if that... If you could imagine, for months of leaning over the hood and working on it, yeah, it just polished the fenders. Because the front fender looks cut and buffed almost, and right? If I put the hood down, the hood's been off the vehicle for so long, uh -huh. you can see the difference. Yeah. Oh wow! Yeah, it's a it's like night and day, yeah. huh? From here so once to we put here. The hood on, all this has been like you know yeah. polished from our, our clothing. <laughs> you cut and buffed it with your uh, with shirt and stuff, clothes, right? Yeah. That's crazy. A little bit, you know. So the big question is: is does this fit in your garage? No, at your, at your in, house? It fits in the shop. <laughs> <laughs> at your house, does this fit in your garage? No way. No. <laughs> it's probably like two feet too far, huh? Yeah, I mean, it could go like inches. You'd have to cut the drywall in your house. Yeah. <laughs> like it's like kissing the wall. Dude. Yeah. That's funny. This thing's sick, dude. And this is yeah. all the way down, right? Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's about as low as it'll go. Yeah. This thing's cool. It's all complete. I like all the trim is there. Everything that car came with is there and everything works too. I made sure like everything works. The wipers work, this, everything works. And you know, all in, 
If you don't want to answer this question, you don't have to. All in, what do you think you're into this car? As crazy as it sounds, probably like 50 grand. <laughs> Nickel and dimes you, I mean, yeah. like, you know, the hydro boost, the like air rifle, <laughs> exhaust. But this is what's funny, and you already know where I'm going with this. Somebody could spend $150,000 and they're not going to get as much attention as you're going to get in a parking lot at That's a car true. show yep. with this. That's That was my whole intention, too, is kind of like, I, I like to go against the grain. Yeah. I like to, I like to build stuff and bring stuff out that yeah. you're kind of like, well, that's actually kind of cool. Yeah. If you think about it, this was sitting on the side of the road and nobody cared for it. Yeah. Now that I got it out and people are starting to see it, I already sold it to somebody in New Hampshire. Yeah. So it, it, it kind of got my vision out there yeah. to where people go, okay, I get it. Yeah. I see where you're going with this. Yeah. Well, that and, and for your shop, it's like, what can you do? Yeah, yeah. Like, like stretch your imagination. You know, yeah. don't get stuck following trends. I get it. You know, all these cars are amazing. I get it. Yeah. But it's it's kind of like that one guy in the in the parking lot where you're like, <laughs> nobody's gonna have this. Yeah. And they don't. Exactly. You let me know when you see another '74 <laughs> Ford LT. <laughs> What's up, yeah. John? I'll let you know. All right. All right. I'll leave you alone.